This is your boy T to the M to the I D D, and I'm back with another YouTube video. Today I am actually having an unboxing, and it's kind of a sad yet joyous day for me because if you know and been following my YouTube video, my journey for my photography, I have been mainly shooting with one softbox that I had gotten when I first started. And it's like a 22 or 24 inch by 24 inch a square softbox. And if you look at any video, pretty much I am using that softbox. And so I've been in the market for a while and kind of looking for a new softbox to fit my needs. And I found the one and now I have it. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the new softbox that I found for myself. But before we get into that, go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be a part of the notification game because I'm dropping content every week nonstop. So let's get right into it. Now, like I said, you probably already seen the softbox that I um, use for most of my photo shoots and it's pretty good a double diffuse 24 inch by 24 inch but since I got my new Godox AD 300 Pro this light has became my go-to light and with that being said I needed something that gave me a little more of a surface area in terms of a saw box. So, I went looking and I got the box prepped already. So, this particular saw box is a Easy Lock 33.4 inch deep parabolic yeah I had, to, I had to go parabolic you know I, I couldn't do the square anymore I mean y'all were killing me in the comments <laughs> but hey you know my images you know still I was still I was still happy with what I was getting but as you can see right here this is the glow easy lock 33.4 deep parabolic soft box and so you probably already know I'm excited to get out and shoot. Look, look at this form factor. It comes in a nice nifty little bag. Can't, can't, can't beat that. Not that I'll be carrying the bag, but let's just hop right into it. First of all, I like this. It's very sleek, it's very easy to carry. You know, look, it has a tether right here that you can close it up. But in terms of me, I shoot a lot of on location. So to be able to pick this up and just go ahead and attach it to the side of this bag or on the back of this bag is very easy. That's the first thing for me. But let's get into the main reason that I actually got this. Now, the Godox 8300 Pro light, you actually can extract this cover here. And so once you extract that cover, now this is a Godox mount. You know, typically you'll have to mount this into an S2 bracket and then you'll have a Bowens mount adapter that would then attach a saw box on there. But now I don't need that anymore. Now all I have to do is take my 8300 Pro Lite and simply take my newly acquired parabolic, deep parabolic, turn it, and voila. I mean, come on. That's 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 the this is the easiest setup that I have had since. I've been recording my shoots. And so, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Let's see, look at that. 
It's, it's that easy. Umbrellas inside, and actually, you can see right here, if you actually wanted to put a modeling lamp uh, inside that does not attach with the Godox bracket, then you can actually sit a light inside here. But I'm very, very happy with this purchase. It gives me uh, more surface area here so that I can, you know, you have a, a law of, you know, having the light closer to the subject, but having a bigger source of light will make the light a lot softer. And so with this, I will almost be able to put this as close as I want to the model. And since it's a bigger surface area, then the light will be so soft, it will be almost seamless and the photos will come out that's that much more beautifully. Now, that is one thing, right? So that's, that's my main reason why I got this. Easy, compact, when you're on the go, you want something quick and easy and nice that you can just pop up and pop down, put it in your bag and keep going. Um, I know that eventually you get to a point and I'm kind of at that point where you start to bring a trolley with you when you uh, start doing on location shoots because you have so many things that you're carrying. And that is the case, but let's get into the rest of these attachments. Okay. We have, now that, that could have took an eye out right there, but we have essentially a nice reflector or it uh, <clears throat> goes inside of the actual Easy Glow. So that will give you a layer of diffusion. There's actually more things in here than I thought. Oh man. Let's just, let's just, let's just get it all out. Okay. So let's, let's go with this one first. This is actually a grid. So I'm not going to unravel it, but it is a grid that you put on the outside. You put on the outside of this deep parabolic softbox that will actually help reduce the amount of light that comes out and also controls the light so that it doesn't spill into other areas that you don't want it to spill in. So this grid will actually help you be able to control your lighting. So this is another good tool to have, especially using this for um, in areas where you're shooting inside maybe a studio. It's good because maybe you don't want the light to hit the back backdrop. And so with that, you can control it with that grid. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. I'm kind of scared. And here you go, oh man. So now they have another uh, diffuser and it's a different size. So this is a silver reflector and this is a gold reflector. So if you're using this, then you can get more of a warmer tone of light coming out and with this more of a neutral tone and so with this you get more of a mix so that's, that's pretty nice um the one thing that i do know is most of the time i correct my uh, white balance so you know uh, the the color temperature of my photo in post-production um, sometimes when I do events, I always correct those in camera. So that's something that I kind of do. So uh, for me, I would probably use this silver 
um, reflector to help diffuse the light. Well, bounce, bounce the light. And then also probably just the white one. And now here is the diffuser. And so this covers the outside of the parabolic, the parabolic softbox. And it helps soften the light. So we have a lot, a lot of things happening in this package. I, I didn't think I was gonna get that much stuff, but I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not mad. Let's see. And then oh, we have another one. Okay. And last but not least. <laughs> so this is more of a neutral. And so this actually could be good for several reasons. Um, I have a product already. So uh, this would be the diffuser also. So if the light is too harsh, then you could put this diffuser inside first. So you could put this diffuser inside first like that and then you could take this and attach it on the outside like so, right? Because if the light is too harsh, then you want two layers of diffusion. But if you're not getting enough light out, then you can extract some layers of those, uh, that diffusion. So this is an extra diffuser. So this does come with two layers of diffusing. And then we have reflectors and these reflectors can actually help increase the power output. So that's nice. And you can also change the tone. And we also have the grid that can help control the light and where, it's, where it spills so that you don't have unnecessary light where you don't want it, which is always a good thing. So that is everything that came in my package. Um, I'm very happy to start shooting with this. I'm very happy about the simple attachment that it just simply connects to my Godox 8300 Pro. And that was a huge selling point for me because now I don't have to worry about the S2 bracket or adapter because this does come with a simpler adapter where I could just attach it to a stand and I can just start shooting. And that was, you know, a, a big key point for me. But again, the Easy Lock Glow 33.4 inch deep parabolic softbox. Now I'm gonna have to start shooting with this and you know, I'll probably have a video soon for y'all. But make sure you go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you have any questions, make sure you always leave them in the comments. Any feedback, you can leave anything down there. Kill me in the comments, have your way. It doesn't matter, you know. We are growing as a channel, so I definitely appreciate you tuning in and watching my videos because all we're going to do is keep growing, keep growing, keep growing, and boom, we're going to eventually make it to a point where we have a whole community supporting the channel. And so just stay along with the ride. And you know, it's always a long ride, but at the end of the road, it will be success. So this your boy T-Mid, I'm out, peace.